Often I talk about the dereliction of the duty of the mainstream media. They concentrate on the, the game. They concentrate on the rat race. They don't concentrate on informing Americans as far as the real things that are causing our angst, the real things that are causing our pains, the real things that are causing inflation, the real things that are causing many of the things that afflict us right now. And, you know, Katie Porter uh, uh, yesterday in a hearing in Congress, I think it was yesterday, went ahead and, and, and did a good research piece. What is the reason that we have 8.2% inflation? Oh, it's high, the highest inflation we've had in over 40 years. And, you know, a lot of times we go out and say, you know, I've been preaching for a long time that there were no real shortages. So there was there was no real reason for but spot inflation, which means supply chain issue caused by the private sector. Yes, inflate prices because you have a little bit of shortages of those things that are caused by the supply chain problem. We've been talking about that on Politics Done Right for a long time. The media has just been saying inflation, 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 as if inflation is something magical, as if there isn't control of prices by a few entities which causes inflation. Well, Katie Porter deconstructed it perfectly today. I want you guys to see that that congresswoman deserve a gold star day after day for putting things that most Americans won't understand in an easier to understand manner. Listen to Katie and then we'll come back. According to this chart, what is the biggest driver of inflation during the pandemic? The blue is the, the dark blue is the recent period. It would be corporate profits. And what is that percentage? It is 54%. And that number does stay that level of high if you update that number to more recent numbers as well. So over half of the increased prices people are paying are coming from increases in corporate profits. Yes, the unit price index is reflected in corporate profits as opposed to other costs. And how does that compare to historically to other periods of inflation or over other periods of economic time? As reflected there in other analysis, it is significantly higher in this recovery, 11.5%. And what is it today? Uh, 53%. So I wanna make sure everyone in America understands this chart. What is a unit labor cost? The cost, the wages and an associated right. work cost. So we could just wages. What is a non-labor input cost? Uh, a variety of things, including um, maintenance and, and investments. Okay. so. I, I have to buy the buy the stuff to make the widget. I have to have a factory. I have to keep the lights on. I have to hire someone to make the widget. That's this stuff. And this is what I add on, on top. Now, it is very upsetting that if, based on that chart, the actual inflation based on increased wages, based on increased supply chain issues, should only be about 4%. But instead, we have it twice that. And why is that again? Because for corporate profits, these corporate thugs decided that Americans didn't have enough pain from the supply chain problems they caused. Americans didn't have enough pain for the offshoring that they issued to cause the supply chain problems from having to bring products from overseas not built here in America that they did for more profits. Americans have to pay for also the idea that a pandemic can create problems. Americans have to pay for their just-in-time inventory that prevents mitigation of pandemics, hurricanes, and whatever problems you have in a foreign country where our products are manufactured. But we don't have the mainstream media listening to some of the analysis done by Katie Porter, which would change the narrative that, oh, somehow this is Biden inflation. This isn't Biden inflation. This is corporate private sector inflation with them fleecing Americans in an unpatriotic, evil manner. Why can't we just come out and say what the truth is? These people have no heart. These people have no soul. 
These people don't care that they're killing babies as a mother can't afford the formula raised so that they can put more money into their pockets, money that's really unearned. People, let's get it straight. And don't support those who would mislead you. Vote and vote appropriately and vote your interests and vote the people who are going to get things done to prevent the corporate thugs from doing what they just can't help doing given their psychopathy. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.